Mario's mindset number four. With persistence, Mario starts his own business, mowing a lawn and doing odd jobs for, well, how all businesses start, with one customer for one old lady. He makes $40. Now it's logical that you're going to ask yourself, $40? That doesn't sound like financial success. But let's pause and think about what's happening. In three weeks, that lawn has to be mowed again. Mario does a good job the first time and he gets to mow the lawn again. And as he continues to do a good job over and over again, $20, $20 over the course of the growing season, he mows the old lady's lawn ten times. Well, that's ten times two hundred dollars. Maybe each time the old lady has odd jobs for him to do. So the 20 is 40, that's times 10, that's, that's $400. Now Mario asked the old lady if she knows anyone else who needs their lawn mowed or odd jobs done. The old lady says, well, I'd be happy to ask my girlfriends at church and at the senior center. Something very important has happened now. Mario has an ambassador, a satisfied customer, his ambassador, looking for work for him. Mario's business with that one old lady leads to business from another old lady, and hopefully another and another. Let's say from that first old lady, he gets, I don't know, Five customers each worth four hundred dollars. Well, now we're getting up there, so four hundred times five, that's two thousand dollars. So from Mario knocking on those thirty doors, he did not make just twenty dollars, but he opened the door to the potential to make two thousand dollars. Okay, a loser hearing this story, well, he or she thinks negatively. They, they look for excuses in the story. Lo losers love, adore excuses. They're thinking, well, maybe the old lady didn't have any friends. Maybe. Maybe Mario had to knock on another 20 doors to find his second customer. Yeah, okay, maybe. But maybe the one old lady had ten friends. Hmm, that's possible. Maybe the old lady had lots of odd jobs for Mario to do and she was willing to pay Mario sixty dollars a day. Yeah, that's possible. You see, the winner sees the glass half full, the loser sees the glass half empty. The winner sees opportunity, the loser sees hard work and rejection. Yes, most people slam the door in Mario's face. Did that happen? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that happened. Yet one door opened to the possibility of Mario making thousands of dollars. Remember rule number one of business. This is all on your American Success app, free, download success.org. So rule number one of business, offer a quality product or service, which means very simply, do a good job. Rule number two of business, always say thank you to your customer, appreciate the business, and then go ahead and ask the customer for more business. This way, one satisfied customer can lead to that second satisfied customer and for that first satisfied customer to invite you back to do more work. So one satisfied customer can lead to referrals to other new customers. What's business? Well, it's repeat, repeat, repeat that process over and over again. That's what success is. Perhaps Mario, and he's a thinking person of action, as an action principles champion, Mario realizes that 
He actually has a formula for his success. Maybe it's for every two hours I spend knocking on 30 doors, I can get a new customer. And over the period of two years, that one customer can yield $1,000 to me, maybe more in, in, in business. He's an optimist. He's a positive thinker. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, the glass is half full. Maybe. Maybe Mario gets, as he's doing the sales pitch over and over again, he gets very good at this sales pitch. And he yields a new customer every, not every 40 or 30, every 20 doors that he knocks on. Maybe, yeah. Maybe Mario refines his services and does such a good job that he's able to, to up his prices. And over time yields, let's say, $2,000 from his average customer. Yeah, maybe. Rather than one referral, the average customer yields two referrals. This is every successful small business. One satisfied customer, I'm doing a good job for my satisfied customer, and that leads me to my next customer. Do you think most people can do what Mario's doing? Unfortunately, absolutely not. Can Mario do this? Yes, absolutely. Mario did this. Mario did this. Yes. But what's the most important question? The most important question is what are you learning and can you do this? It's you who has to ask yourself, do you have the nerve, the confidence, and the persistence? Are they qualities that are within you? And if you don't have them, can you develop them? And as we're doing this, we're thinking, is this Mario story really only about mowing lawns and doing odd jobs? Or are there lessons to be learned for lots of businesses? Well, we have a lot more to learn from Mario, so I want you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you haven't already done that, do that. Ring the bell for notifications, you know the drill. And for lots more learning, watch my other videos here on YouTube. And of course, go to our website, success.org, where you can download the action principles, free, and the free American Success app, which gives you a whole business plan. My retirement mission is to help you succeed. I'm Uncle Bill.